Hello, you collectors, toy fans, and epically awesome individuals, and welcome to the Canadian Nerd Channel's very first episode of the Canadian Nerd Unboxes, in which we will unbox, critique, and rate a new collectible several times a month to give you guys the lowdown before you go shelling out your cash. So, in this episode, we unbox, critique, and rate the brand new and epically sculpted Play Arts Kai DC variant Wonder Woman who was just released about a week ago and that we were lucky enough to score from our amazing sponsors, SuperpowerCollectibles.com. And in case that you are looking for one of those as well or anything else from the new DC Play Arts Kai line, then make sure to check out SuperpowerCollectibles.com as they stock every single one of them. And moreover, you can even pre-order those that are not available yet. So... Without further ado, let's check this thing out, man. I know you want to. All right, guys. Well, there we have it. It is the amazing and brand new, just released DC Comics variant of Wonder Woman by Play Arts Kai that we just, just, just scooped up at the Action Figure Expo from our amazing friend over at SuperpowerCollectibles.com who are always on the ball and always have the newest collectibles, including this awesome action figure. However, let's jump in and take a better look. So as you can see, up top we've got the DC Comics insignia, after which we've got DC Comics, Variant Play Arts, Action Figure Kai, number two, Wonder Woman, and the cover is also adorned with this awesome sketch of Wonder Woman in her newer post-crisis appearance or um, post-crisis armor rather which is a lightweight and more stylish redesign of Wonder Woman's armor however let's take a look at the size of the box as you can see on the right side we've got a bit of an extension of the sketch of Wonder Woman's hair and shoulder right over here let's take a look at the right side it's kind of bland and looks like it's also an extension of the same sketch Then we have the back, which uh, displays a full illustration of what I just mentioned, which is uh, Wonder Woman's post-crisis appearance, lightweight redesign of her armor. So as you can see, she's all completely metal clad. Her shield's a lot bigger. Even her chest plates are a lot thicker and her boots are metallic as well. So it definitely looks all kinds of awesome. Moreover, down here you can see other new DC Play Arts characters that are available, including number one, Batman, which we will be unboxing in our second unboxing. Number two, Wonder Woman, which we will be unboxing in just a moment. And number three, Green Lantern, which we will be bringing to you guys shortly. But now, let's open up the Velcro window and see what's inside. So as we can see inside the box, on the left side, we've got a pretty detailed and awesome sketch of the design on which this figure is based, along with a bit of an explanation about the design and the team who designed this figure. Inside and getting to the meat of it, we have none other than Wonder Woman, which is a pretty, pretty awesome sculpt. She's got a pretty cute face. Her breasts seem a little larger than they do on previous figures, but um, I'm not complaining. You've got a couple different sets of hands, presumably to fit with her different uh, accessories and weapons you've got a shield and I'm not quite sure what this is but we'll check that out in just a moment so that's the box that's what you can expect to see in stores but now let's open her up and check her out Okay. 
in. There we go. Right out of the box. Look at how beautiful that is. I know, I know. You want to see without the plastic, don't you? All right, let's do it. And there we have it, guys. Fully unboxed. The brand new DC Comics Variant Play Arts Kai Wonder Woman. She has great articulation in the ankles. Thanks to a huge ball joint, so that's pretty cool. And it actually clicks which is great because it should help you stand your character a lot easier. Her hair sculpt is well made, still allowing for some articulation in the head, which is good as that is hard to find because her hair is usually lumped up in the back and doesn't let her even look up. So it's good to see that they thought that one out. But yeah, now let's take a look at some of the accessories that came in the box. Here we are with Wonder Woman's new shield. little bit different than her previous shield which is gold has some white red and blue on it sort of the US colors so this is a bit of a different uh, style bit of a different take but is nonetheless very nice we have this small little piece and I'm not quite sure what that one does yet however I'll be sure to fill you guys in at a later date and finally we have three extra hands, two of them punching, and one of them holding what looks like a handle for her shield. And finally, we have the display stand, which is unfortunately blistered directly against the cardboard, which means that you will be ripping it out and will not be able to put it away nicely as you first purchased it later. But nonetheless, at least they're coming with stands and they didn't for a while. All right, so now that you guys have had a chance to see the unboxing and we have had a chance to unbox, display, and play around with the Wonder Woman, we are gonna give you guys the good, the bad, and altogether the critique, after which we are gonna give it a rating and get out of here. So first, the good. So for those of you who are familiar with having previously owned Wonder Woman action figures, then you might be aware of the issue that generally occurs with her hair in that you cannot raise her head because her hair is generally built or molded in one massive lump. So I'm very, very happy to see that's resolved. She has full head movement, as you can see, and it is altogether just a better articulated piece. Additionally, the sculpting and paint jobs are amazing. As you can see on the legs, we even have definition of the different muscles, different variations in skin tones, and they really went all out to make this thing stand out and be above and beyond, I guess, all of the other Wonder Woman figures currently available. Another pro is Wonder Woman's face, and for those of you who have owned Wonder Woman characters, then you know that they vary quite largely from some really, really nice ones to some really, really ugly ones. However, at the end of the day, they're generally not done very well at all. You have some red lipstick and, as I previously mentioned, a big chunk of molded hair. However, in this case, as you can see, the lips are well painted. You've got different colors in her pupils, different shades and highlights in her hair. And they really, really went above and beyond to bring this character to life. So, all in all, it is a beautiful sculpt and very, very well done. And now for our only two cons on the Wonder Woman variant. And the first con is her shoulders. If you look closely, there is a lot of articulation, which is great to see. They've gone above and beyond to make sure that we can put her in any pose that we want. However, with that being said, it really, really left her shoulders bare and exposed and they look, it practically looks incomplete. I don't really want to say that it looks bad because it really doesn't. She's got naked shoulders. It's probably a bit harder to disguise. However, I feel like it leaves a little bit to be desired. Another con of this figure would be the assembly required with the display stand. And as I'm sure you noticed in the unboxing, it did come in pieces. I'm sure that'll be consistent across the entire line. However, um, being as some of the previous Final Fantasy characters came with a lot more complete stands, it sucks to see us sort of digressing back to an earlier state. But um, you know what? I'm not going to complain because at least it comes with a stand and a lot of the new play art stuff doesn't. 
Anyways, with that being said, it is all in all a beautiful sculpt, as you can see. Top to bottom and front to back, Play Arts Kai really went above and beyond the Call of Duty in building and designing this character. And as such, we are going to give the new DC Comics Play Arts Kai Wonder Woman variant a solid 4.5 out of 5 or 9 out of 10 with one point being deducted for the shoulder issue as I mentioned earlier. So we hope that you enjoyed our very first and thorough The Canadian Nerd Unboxes. To get a hold of your very own DC Comics Play Arts Kai variant which are just being released with some more on the way, then make sure to check out our amazing sponsors, superpowercollectibles.com, who stock all of them, both available and pre-order. We really hope that you guys enjoyed coming on our very first Canadian Nerd Unboxes, in which we unbox the DC Comics Play Arts Kai variant Wonder Woman. If you have any suggestions as far as some collectibles that we should perhaps unbox in the future, then please don't hesitate to drop us a line right over here moreover if you are with a company who would like to have us unbox some things on the show and please once again make sure to drop us a line below and we'll get the conversation started so make sure to stick around for our next episode in which we will unbox the dc comics play arts kai variant batman in all of its glory and finally please make sure to check out and support our sponsors so we can keep this ball rolling and they include the amazing SuperpowerCollectibles.com, your Canadian online source for toys, comics, collectibles, and more. HanSoloRecords.com, your Canadian source for the best in both nerdcore and underground hip-hop. And lastly, our newest sponsors, Harry Tarantula or HarryT.com, your downtown Toronto source for manga, games, board games, comics, and all types of awesome nerdery.